I don't even know how someone gets into this fucker. Let me just walk across my razor. Oh, reach. I'm gonna blame that on the windshield. Does anyone else have a windshield that's so scratched you can't even see out of it anymore? Now it's probably twice as scratched. Oh yeah, I see one right here. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Caleb Eckerd. If you're new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you like side-by-sides, motorcycles, or chaos in general, this is the channel for you. Today we're going to attempt to buff the scratches out of my Razor windshield. I'm going to say it right here, plain and simple. These plexiglass windshields are junk. Tell me that windshield is not scratched. You can actually see the fine scratches in it. You can see the glare from here. The windshield's cool and all, but when you can't see going 80, that's... Uh, that's a problem. Spend the extra couple bucks and get yourself a glass one. This one is vented, which is kind of cool. Kind of unusable because of the scratches. You might not be able to see them on camera, but they are definitely there. There's actually a couple different kind of windshields you can buy for side by side. There's polycarbonate, acrylic, plexiglass, and then actual tempered glass. These windshields are almost impossible to clean on the trail without ruining them. It says you're not supposed to use a squeegee or any cleaner at all. How do you even clean these things? So I guess the proper way is to rinse it off with water, and the only thing you can use is dish soap. But this is more of like a scuff. I have quite a few friends that actually carry around a pump sprayer so they can spray off their plexiglass windshield. But pretty much everyone I know that has them has scratches on theirs. Unless you're willing to fork out 400 plus dollars for a windshield, I guess plexi it is. So what we're gonna use today is a battery powered buffer and then we're gonna use Novus three-step plastic polish. First off, let's spray off this windshield so we don't polish in any dirt. Not recommended for use on coated plastic. I don't know if this windshield's coated. We're about to find out. If we ruin it, it's not that big of a deal because it's not usable right now anyway. Step one, clean and polish. Spray some of this on there. I guess this is just some kind of plastic cleaner. Wipe it off. It looks and feels cleaner than it's ever have, but I mean, there's still these fine little scratches in there. I don't know if you can really see them, but. It's not usable in sunlight whatsoever. Let's move on to step two, restore and refinish. Battery for the buffer should be charged up. Let's get this and let's plug this into the buffer. Let's grab number two. Yeah, don't mind my can there. It fell out of the refrigerator. For fine scratches, that's what we have. We're gonna put some on the windshield. I don't know how much, but we'll coat it decently. That should be enough to start with. Let's grab the buffer. Now let's start buffing. Oh crap, no. I lost control there. This thing's like out of balance. Yeah, the pad's on crooked, which is making it go all crazy. Try to straighten the pad. And then we'll add a little more. Just wipe it off. So far, it's actually looking pretty clean. I can't really see the scratches anymore. Look, you can't even see that there's a windshield there. I don't know if that's because we're not in the sunlight or what, but we'll find out here soon. Let's put on number three. Let's grab number three, heavy scratch remover. That's what we have. Put some on there. The more the better, I think. I don't know. <laughs> and let's buff it. Looks pretty hazy right now. I guess it's working. I sure hope it's working. So the battery went dead in the buffer. We're waiting to get that charged up. I better wipe that up before it dries up because I don't want that stuck on my windshield. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Oh, it's actually starting to get dry. You can feel it. Wiping it up, it's actually creating these small little balls. It's definitely drying up. Look, look at that. It actually feels really smooth. Let's flip it over and do the inside of it, but uh, I can't just lay it right on the wood. That would defeat the whole purpose of why I just polished it. So we'll put some paper towels down. Hopefully the plastic does not touch the wood. Let's spray it with number one. Wiped it up, let's put number two down. We'll hand buff it until the buffer battery gets charged up. Circular motions. 
There, I took the buffer pad off and I was using it with my hand so much better. Let's put number three on. It's time to see if all that buffing made a difference to the Razor windshield. Looking pretty shiny if you'd ask me. Let's get this thing mounted and we'll take it for a spin. Now let's see if this made a difference. You can see right there, there's still scratches. It still looks a little hazy. I think it's just because I didn't wipe off the rest of the polish. We might have wasted our time. I mean, if you have a buffer, go out and buff your windshield. It does look a little bit better, but not a huge difference. I wouldn't go out and buy a buffer, let's just say that. I just have to go without a windshield or spend some of my moldy money and go out and buy a glass windshield, but that's like $450. I don't really see the point of that because riding without a windshield isn't bad unless you're going over like 45 mile an hour. That's it for today's video. I'm gonna do a little riding before it gets dark. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button we got some crazy content coming up here soon be climbing a tree with the razor catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching peace there's a deer hunting with the razor coming too if you haven't watched the blow off l video i'd watch that because this thing sounds like a monster